I'm about to head to North Mississippi and go get this truck for uh Blue Honey, we call him, and uh where he can be up in some more up to date and, and more comfortable. Man, ain't got nobody socks on. He said he can't go buy him some socks. That joke, that's the truth, that man. Hello, love, truth. I blew out about three or four tires. He just showed up on the job. Plenty of them. About five or six thousand dollars for the tire, probably. Two up transmissions, back in. <laughs> back in transmissions. Yeah, and that's, that's why it don't work for me, you know. Uh, yeah, turn over skitters, two up drive lines, twist off drive shafts, stuff like that. Yeah, I did some hell of fire damage. Cause you, boy. No, he like one of them neighbors that you kick out the house or something. Every time you look up, he out in the yard, you know, trying to pick up leaves or something like that to try to see can he help. One time, he ran over a truck, trying to get in between a truck and a tree. He ran over my diesel tank, bent my diesel tank with the tire. Uh, he pushed wood through cabs. He almost ran over uh, Robert D. pickup one day. Rob said he walked by him, spoke to him, Got on the skitter and I almost ran over the man pickup. Said if he didn't had a blade down, if his blade was up, say he would have ran over the truck and smashed it, man, like uh, you no know, something on television, you know. I was coming, coming down the road tonight, 15, 20 pounds, 30 pound coon. Trying to make it across the other side, and I went across and hit that across the head, knocked him out, and had my pot in the skin as out. And bake that, put some sweet potatoes around it, cut some onion, bell pepper up in it. Tell me about some good eating stew out of it, some coon stew. Getting some lunch, and God put in my heart, it was a older lady there, and uh, I know, you know, everybody's that's retired and stuff on fixed income, so I try to be thankful for everything. You know, I have, I, I swear I catch the blues in this profession that I'm in, you know, with ups and downs, but uh, nevertheless, I'm grateful. It can always be worse, and so, as I was standing there, God just put in my heart uh, to be a blessing, you know, it's a blessing to be a blessing. And so God basically put in my heart to, uh, pay for the woman uh, food and everything. And so, ma'am, I said, get whatever you're gonna get. I'm gonna pay for it too. She said, you don't have to. I said, no ma'am, I got to. She said, well, I gotta get one for my husband too. I said, well, that's okay. You can get get a plate for him as well. And so, um, she said, you sure? I said, yes ma'am, I'm sure, I'm positive. And so, um, it just was a blessing, you know, to see the smile on her face. And uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing to be a blessing, man. And, it's, it's nothing that I'm trying to caption on video. Uh, just so happened the cameraman was with me, and uh, I'm not trying to get religious or nobody by no chance, but I'm a God-fearing man. You know, I want to make sure I make that known. I just want to say uh, to that young lady, she don't know my name, I don't know her name. So uh, at the end of the day, but God knows all things. So we head up here now to pick up this big truck and uh, try to get it back. Once I pick it up, uh, we're going to head on back and try to get some wood moving. I had three trucks there, basically sold back to them. Everybody left the door more there. That gotta be the end of the gate. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know you can go out that way. Oh, okay. You can come out. Yeah, then they park tight. Yeah, you should have came over that way some more. But yeah, it's the truck here. Let me crank it up. Blue Hill National. Brand new motor up in the Cummins engine. It needed some new bears in it. They supposed to be putting some new steer tires on it. 
she run sweet. Run like a sewing machine. Show the, show the whole thing, how we been here in the wood, been up, up north, stopping it, all that. Yeah, I've never done it, man, gotta get it. I don't want to put no say on the mother's love. We need that. Everybody needs that, you know. Uh, my mom is still living today, and I appreciate her. But we must let the men know that we're proud of For fathers like me all across the world, a lot of people talk about the mother's love. They never talk about the father's sacrifice. If you have a good wife, a uh, 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 good fiance, baby mom or whatever. A mom is going to do what she's supposed to do. A mom, not a mother. And so with that said, us as fathers, a lot of times we get left out simply because we haven't put in the extra hours. We have to do stuff that makes it possible for the mom to be able to spend 
spend more time with the kids than the father is because the father's usually at work. He usually have to put in overtime. He usually have to do all these, jumping all these loops up and under, sideways, backwards, dive on the ground and come back up like a Superman. Us as fathers don't get enough credit for what we what we do. I mean, I know guys that might leave their household to go work offshore or, you know, to go work several hundred miles away from home because it's enough funds to actually support what he's trying to do uh, for his family. You know, he might can't make enough funds working locally on what he's trying to do because he has dreams for his family. We must recognize the fathers and let them know we're proud of them, that they pat them on their back, Give them a hug and let them know you appreciate them because, listen, this world is a whole lot more different for us as fathers trying to make off in this work world, just this period, in this world period. So make sure you give your your, your, your husband a call, your, your friend or whoever, and let them know that you sure do appreciate them. Let them know today and tell them to your sent you. Let them know you appreciate them and, and you want to make sure that they, they understand they appreciate it. And that's what it is. Alright, what we got going on here. We just left uh, my little boy my little girl's Christmas care uh, program, if you want to call it. So I've done the uh, family thing. So we gotta get back to these woods. We had a tire man came put a tire on the skitter, and the tire ended up being blown, blown out, blown out. So we gotta try to get another tire for that skitter. So that machine is down to 748 L2 right now. I got several tires. I got a whole set of tires at uh, my guy Steve Sykes shop. Uh, I got also two tires when I purchased the skitter that's in Louisiana at my, uh, my boy Garrett uh, shop up there at uh, Ruston, Louisiana. So we just got to get up there and pick up them tires and uh, we're going to keep the motion. Like I said, hashtag got to get it, let go. Got the tires, now we heading back to the log wood. See, can we get it put on? Y'all already know the motto, hashtag got to get it, let go. Leave Louisiana, heading back to Mississippi. Got to get it. Let's go. I so need to get one, man. Uh, I so need to get one. Yeah.